inserting column and column break. You must have seen newspapers where very often text is written in columns. It is possible to give text the similar formatting with Word 2013. You can either take a text and divide it into a certain number of columns as desired by the user or insert column break. First, we will deal with the matter of dividing Word 2013 text into columns. Inserting columns. In MS Word, Columns feature allows you to divide a document into a number of columns so that text appears as it does in a newspaper or a magazine. The steps to insert columns in a document are as follows. Click the Page Layout tab. Select Columns option in the Page Setup group. A drop-down list of options appears. Select the number of columns, for example, 3, from the available options. The document is divided into the selected number of columns. Type the text to observe the changes. To insert more than 3 columns, click More Columns in a Columns drop-down menu. The Columns dialog box will appear on the screen. Enter the number of columns you want to insert in the document in the number of columns box. Click the OK button. The document is divided into the number of columns entered by you. No more. You can insert up to 13 columns in a document. Top tip. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to move from one column to another or follow the given steps. Page layout, breaks, columns. Interestingly, like the previous example where column breaks at the end of the page, the column may also break any place of the first column. After that, the new column will begin after the point where the column break is inserted. Follow these steps to insert column break. Click on any place in the first column where you want the column break. Click on breaks option in page layout tab and page setup group. Click on column from the options that show. After these steps, the column will break off at the column break. Column break is not the only kind of break you can apply on text in Word 2013. There are such breaks as page breaks and line breaks also. Like column break changes the column at the chosen point, page break changes the page and moves the text onto another page. Follow these steps to insert page break. Click on the text where you want the page break. Click on Breaks in Page Layout tab and Page Setup group. From the drop-down menu, click on Page. After above steps, the page will change after the point at which the page break is inserted.